Salvation Army. You're at what hospital? Okay, so you're at an outpatient place. Okay. We'll look forward to seeing you when you come in. You're welcome. We are open 24 hours, seven days a week. No one that is a victim of domestic violence, sexual assault, or human trafficking is never turned away. They've gone through distresses like um, husband has beaten them up. Their jaw was broken, wired shut. They feel like they have no place else to turn. I didn't come here with any clothes or anything. The children. The kids are crying because mom is crying. Sometimes they have to get away so fast they don't have on shoes. It's cold, no coats, they haven't eaten. Because they're experiencing trauma that most people do not experience or most children don't experience, it's going to be in their minds forever and ever and ever. We are all they have. When they first come in, we try to assess their situation and see if they need medical attention first. A meal, get them, um a shower, get them clean clothing. Then we're able to go through the documentation um, and get them set up into a room. A couple of weeks ago, I was sleeping in a bus stop. And when I came here, I knew that I was gonna get help. I feel like I made my best choice coming here. Good, good job. We collaborate with many agencies that include tutoring for children who are in school three days a week. What do you think about addition today? Yes. We have children's activities with IMPD, Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. I'm trying to give the child some of their childhood back get them back a little bit closer to where they were, give back some of their childhood by doing some of the things that we do at the shelter. Enjoy your meal, baby. Thank you. This food, get it. You get three great meals a day. This is the rec room where we can do our Bible studies and everything. The shelter is more than a safe place. It is a place of resources. It's a place of guidance. I just gotta do my very best and just make sure that I can accomplish the goals that I just set before myself. They sit down and they say, this is what I need to do while I'm here. This is what I need to succeed at. I did have to do the footwork, which was no problem, to seek employment, which I did. And I got back on Social Security since I've been here. And I, right now I am looking for an apartment and I hope to find one. I'm very proud of myself, very proud. When they leave here, they feel empowered that they can go out and live their life free of fear. Then when they're going out the door, we're all, uh, we're crying. But this time, these are tears of joy because we know they're going to a better, a safe place, a place they call home.